I find sometimes that if, if say, the patient is pseudophagic, that the iris actually stays back, and that's the time where I make the decision whether to do an iridectomy or not. And I actually prefer not to do an iridectomy if I can help it, because there's potential problems with the iridectomy. It can bleed if you, if you hit a vessel. You can get vitreous prolapse through the iridectomy uh, into your sclerostomy and potentially block your sclerostomy. So if I can avoid doing an iridectomy, I, I like to avoid it. Uh, the arguments for iridectomy is to potentially stop the peripheral iris tissue being incarcerated into your sclerostomy. And I find that if you cut your sclerostomy and the iris tissue comes up to your sclerostomy, that's my indication for doing peripheral iridectomy. Uh, it's quite an art to do the iridectomy and I find it can be quite an awkward step. You have your assistant introducing the eye very gently again, not, not pulling too hard, and often they do get a bit excited and pull too hard. Uh, you've got your scleral flap, which is potentially covering your forceps when you're grasping the iris. And, and I'm, I get my assistant to uh, actually use a plain forcep to lift the scleral flap so I can actually see where my forceps are actually grasping the iris. Uh, I tend to use a tooth calibri forcep, which has got quite a nice angle on it to, to be able to enter the sclerostomy and, and graft that peripheral iris, not mid peripheral iris, because if you cut mid peripheral iris, you, you end up uh, having too big a iridectomy, and potentially that could cause visual problems uh, if the uh, iridectomy uh, is extending beyond the lid margin. There's different ways to cut the iridectomy, and I like to, once I've grasped that peripheral iris tissue, to use a van of scissors to cut tangentially and or well, tangential to the limbus and that way you end up with a more broader based iridectomy uh, as opposed to if you cut radially you end up with a smaller base iridectomy and potentially one that will encroach past that superior lid margin. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash iop dot vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.